What comes to mind when you think of Trevor Lawrence? Talented quarterback? Check. Good looking? Check. Gorgeous hair? Check. But what many people don't know is just how much money this Jacksonville Jaguars superstar makes and how he spends it. Trust us, Trevor isn't like other regular NFL ballers, so stick around to find out how he spends his money. Before we get into how much Trevor Lawrence makes, we have to start with how exactly he began making so much dough. William Trevor Lawrence was born on October 6, 1999 in Knoxville, Tennessee to Jeremy and Amanda Lawrence as the second of three children. Although the family originally used to be from Tennessee, Trevor grew up in Cartersville, Georgia with his parents and older brother Chase and began playing football as a young kid. In fact, his dad, Jeremy, hired a private quarterback trainer for him when he was only an eighth grader. Trevor had to train with this coach during his offseason, and clearly it paid off. Although it wasn't until his teenage years that he began catching media attention as the star quarterback for his high school in Cartersville, Georgia. Starting from his freshman year, he threw for 3,042 yards and 26 touchdowns. He only got better, improving to a record of passing for 3,655 yards and 43 touchdowns as a sophomore before being named the Atlanta Journal-Constitution Player of the Year for throwing 3,904 yards and 51 touchdowns as a junior. And there's more. Check this out. From Trevor's sophomore year to his senior year, this dude led the Cartersville High School football team to two state championships and four region titles. He also racked up a ton of National High School Player of the Year honors and then, in 2017, topped it all off by breaking the Georgia State record for passing yards and passing touchdowns. As impressive as all this is, many people do not know that Trevor Lawrence also played basketball during his high school years, and he was pretty damn good at it. Football was always his first love though, so having cemented his place as an all-time great high school quarterback, he was a five-star recruit, and every D1 college was on his tail. The expectations were for him to end up playing for the University of Georgia Bulldogs in his hometown. However, in a shock announcement in December 2016, Trevor announced his decision to take his talents to Clemson University. He has since explained his decision, saying, what it came down to for me was just the people, the rest of the people, everybody. I felt like at the time to go with who I am and the way I kind of wanted my career to go and especially the people I wanted to surround myself with, I felt like Clemson was the right place for me. It didn't take long before Trevor proved his decision to play at Clemson was the right one as he became the team's starting QB just four games into the season. Lawrence would go on to lead his team to an undefeated regular season all the way to the College Football Playoff National Championship as the offensive MVP in his freshman year. This dude legit threw for 3,280 passing yards and 30 touchdowns, was awarded the National Freshman of the Year, the Archie Griffin Award, and the ACC Rookie of the Year honors. By the end of his college career, he had a record of 10,098 passing yards and 90 touchdowns while also being named first team all ACC twice, becoming the 2020 ACC Player of the Year and the 2021 ACC Athlete of the Year. With such a stellar record, Trevor Lawrence opted to enter the 2021 NFL Draft, foregoing his senior year of college. It wasn't a surprise when he got drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars as the first overall pick of the draft. Since getting drafted, Trevor is yet to hit the performance levels of these elite quarterbacks, but he definitely has shown signs of it. After a difficult 2021 season for the Jaguars and their star rookie, Trevor burst out the following season leading the Jaguars to their first division title and a playoff win since 2017. He also finished with 4,113 passing yards, 25 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, and a 66.3 completion percentage earning him a place in the 2022 Pro Bowl game. Without a doubt, the Jaguars' lack of squad depth and sufficient quality to match Trevor's ability has limited the achievements of the young quarterback. It might require the former Clemson superstar seeking a move to a new team for him to live up to potential, but only time will tell. While the Jaguars might not yet have a roster that satisfies Trevor Lawrence's ambition, they definitely have the finances that does. This dude has been making so much money since getting drafted, having been signed on a four-year deal worth $36,793,488 with a signing bonus 
of $24,118,900 back in 2021. Impressive as that might be for the rookie deal, Trevor has recently signed a contract extension with the Jaguars, which blows his rookie deal right out of the water. This deal, which is worth $275 million over five years and has a signing bonus of $37,500,000, is the largest in franchise history by a wide margin. It also means this dude will have an average annual earning of $55 million, which ties him with Bengal star Joe Burrow as the highest annual earner in NFL history. Given how lucrative this contract is, there have been mixed opinions on the contract. Many supporters have highlighted Lawrence's potential and the importance of securing a young, talented quarterback to lead the team long term. They point to his improved performance under coach Doug Peterson, particularly in 2022 when he led the Jaguars to the playoffs. Critics, however, note that Lawrence's performance has been inconsistent, which is undeniable. His rookie season was tumultuous due to the dysfunction under former coach Urban Meyer. Despite a promising second year, Lawrence struggled in 2023, throwing for fewer touchdowns and more interceptions than the previous year, and the team missed the playoffs. Some believe the Jaguars could have waited longer before committing such a significant financial investment. Overall, this contract solidifies the Jaguars' commitment to Lawrence, aiming for a bounce-back season and long-term stability at the quarterback position. Whether he's completely deserving of the hefty contract or not, only time will tell. But the good part is that Trevor actually makes a lot of money without even picking up a football. That's right, he also makes some pretty hefty figures from his endorsement deals and sponsorships. The first of these deals is a multi-year deal with Sports Drink Gatorade, which Trevor signed in 2021. And the best part of this endorsement deal is that Gatorade pays Trevor up to $2 million a year just for his endorsement. The Jaguars Starman also has a similar deal with sportswear manufacturer Adidas, as well as partnerships with Ritz Crackers, Bose Headphones, and is a big-time ambassador for the Cadillac Car Company. Being on the books of all these mega brands brings Trevor Lawrence's annual earnings from endorsements to over $3 million plus other benefits. That's just some crazy stuff, considering he doesn't have to pick up a ball to get paid all this cash. He did get roped into a class action lawsuit for his roles in promoting the FTX cryptocurrency exchange, which collapsed in late 2022, but that hasn't stopped our guy from trying to make even more cash than he already has. But here's the shocker. Despite Trevor Lawrence making so much money at such a young age, his spending habits are very unlike those of other young NFL athletes. Rather than lavish parties and expensive jewelry, Trevor Lawrence lives a pretty simple life. How simple, you'll ask? Well, he has only been seen driving a Cadillac car, which we'll have to assume is a complement of his sponsorship deal with the car brand. His modest spending and lifestyle can be credited to the fact that Trevor grew up in a very religious Christian background. In fact, the entire Lawrence family has been devout members of a Baptist church in Georgia for nearly two decades. The one thing we can say he has gone all out on is his house, or should we say mansion. This property is located in Jacksonville, Florida, and came into the ownership of the NFL baller in July 2021 for $3.4 million. Built on nearly 7,000 square feet, this mansion has five bedrooms, six bathrooms, and is designed with incredible attention to detail. The mansion starts with a grand entrance with a beautiful, smooth marble flooring leading to a sitting room with a magnificent chandelier. The home also has a state-of-the-art home theater, a sprawling outdoor pool, a spa complex, a private basketball court for when Trevor wants to hoop like he did during his high school days, a tennis court, a well-equipped gymnasium, and a temperature-controlled wine cellar. You're probably wondering, how does one man live in all that space? Trevor Lawrence doesn't stay in this mansion alone. He stays with his beautiful wife, Marissa Mowry. Marissa and Trevor are high school sweethearts who began dating during their time at Carterville High School. They didn't attend the same university as Marissa enrolled at Anderson University in South Carolina, but they stayed together during all this time and would eventually get engaged on the field of the Clemson University Stadium in 2020. The couple got married in April 2021 and have been living together ever since. Other than their massive house, Trevor and Marissa have a reputation for spending their money on charity, 
giving since before their marriage. During the global pandemic in 2020, the couple founded the Trevor and Marissa COVID-19 Relief Fund to help out families in need in Cartersville and upstate South Carolina. Since getting married, they have kept up this philanthropy like when they pledged $20,000 to charities in Jacksonville from the money received as their wedding registry gifts. How thoughtful of them. The couple is also expecting their first baby with them announcing a little Lawrence on the way. What an amazing blessing for this awesome couple. What do you think about how Trevor Lawrence spends his money? Be sure to let us know in the comments section and enjoy our other videos.